Today's information world can't be imagined without internet. Internet is a global network of networks which is made possible by the www or World Wide Web which is a collection of web servers that are interconnected through hypertext. Now the question is how information is represented on the World Wide Web or the www. Information is stored in the www or World Wide Web as websites which are in turn collection of web pages and other digital resources housed in a web server. Now again the question is how web pages are created. Web pages are created using a markup language called HTML or hypertext markup language. If anybody wants to jump into web programming, HTML is the first language to look for. Hello friends, welcome to Debs Coding Hub and our today's topic is HTML programming. I would request you to watch the video till the end so that if you are starting programming for the first time, still you will be able to learn HTML programming very easily. So have patience and I will guarantee you that you will learn HTML very easily. Let us see the objective of this session. First one, introduction of HTML. Then, I will know the prerequisites of learning HTML programming. Number three, we'll see what are the softwares that are required. And number four, we'll create our first web page. So let's start. So what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a markup language for creating web pages. So basically HTML is used to create the structure of a web page and its contents. It was developed by Sir Timothy John Berners Lee. This is a picture of Sir Timothy John Berners Lee. And this language HTML is derived from SGML or Standard Generalized Markup Language. Now let us see the prerequisites of learning HTML. No prior knowledge of any programming language is needed to learn HTML. If we can uh, handle the computer, then we can learn HTML. Third one, if we don't have a computer or PC, we can code and view HTML using our mobile phone or tablet. I'll refer to two apps. First one is Webmasters HTML Editor Lite and the second one is Handwriter Free HTML Editor. Using these two apps, you can write and execute HTML code in your mobile phones. For your convenience, I have already uploaded a video on how to practice HTML using Handwriter Free HTML Editor and I have given a link in the description section of this video. Now let us move to the next step. Next point is the softwares that are required for HTML programming. The first one we need is a text editor. And the second one we need is a web browser. The text editor is basically used for typing the code or typing the HTML code to create the web page. And after saving to view the code, we need a web browser. Now, if you are using Mac or Linux or Windows, do you need any extra software to be installed? There is no need for extra software because in Mac, you have a default text editor called Text Edit and a web browser called Safari. You can use Text Edit to type our HTML code and save the file and run it in Safari. Similarly, in Linux, if our desktop is GNOME based, then we can use the gedit, which is the default editor for writing and saving code. And we can use the kate editor in case of KDE desktops. And all this code can be viewed 
in the default browser Mozilla Firefox. Similarly for Windows, as we know, we have Notepad as our default editor and Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge as a web browser. So there is no need for installing any extra software for doing HTML programming. No matter whether we are working on Mac or Linux or Windows. But still, for comfort, we'll be using one of the IDs like uh, VS Code or say Sublime Text or as such. So let us create the first web page. For creating the first web page, we have to know the structure of the web page. Now, how the web page is structured. HTML is basically used for structuring your web document. So for this, we have to write HTML commands, which are known as tags. Okay. So for creating a web page, let us write the code. So every web page starts with HTML and ends with HTML. Now HTML is kept inside this angular bracket. It is called a tag. So HTML is a tag and this is the on tag or opening tag of the web page that defines the start of the web page. And at the end we have HTML written within angular brackets. Just a front slash is in front of HTML. It is called the closing tag or off tag. So this denotes the end of the web page. So every web page must be kept inside HTML opening and HTML closing. We can compare this entire code with a human being. I'll show you how. The next part is the head part. And there is a closing of head also. Inside the head, we write title of the web page, which is to be displayed on the title bar of the web page. That means nowadays all browser shows every web page in tabs. So the title of the tab will be this one. Page title goes here. So title is also a container tag, which opens and closes. So every tag that opens as well as closes, and the data is kept in between is called a container tag. So all these are container tags. After we close the head, we'll go for the body part. Body part is responsible for displaying the contents of the web page. So in the body opening and closing, inside body opening and closing, we are writing the page contents goes here. So this is a complete HTML code that will create a web page if it is saved as any name followed by dot htm or html extension. Now let us see how we can compare a way, structure of a web page with a human being. See, this is the end of the web page. Okay. So we are putting a line, okay, arrow beneath the foot and this is the beginning. So from top to bottom, the entire person can be considered as the html opening and closing. And then every person has a head and in front of the head we have the face of the person that makes us identify that person. Okay. Similarly, in HTML, we have a head tag that inside it defines a title that defines what the page is going to do or what the page is going to display. And after that, as human being, as a body part, in the HTML page also, we can compare with it body. The body contains the entire contents of the web page. So this is how we'll be writing an HTML page. So let us open an editor, okay, and type HTML code. So let us start one editor. 
For the first time, I'll be using Notepad as because I've said there is no need for any extra editor or extra software. As I'm running Windows, Notepad is the default editor. I've started Notepad and I'll type the same code, HTML, followed by HTML close. Tags are nothing but commands that let us display the whole or part of a web page on a web browser. So next thing is the head part. The head opening and the head closing. And then followed by the body part. Body opening and body closing. Okay, so inside the head, we generally write the title of the web page. So let us write the title. Say my first web page. You can give any title you want. And in the body part, I am writing this is the body part of the web page. It displays the contents. of the web page now let us save this page file i'll do a save as if i do a save as i'll choose desktop to save the file and inside desktop i'll save the file with the name first dot htm and I will hit enter or click on save to save the file. As I have saved the file, I will go to desktop. I am pressing windows D to see the desktop. Now I can see the first web page that I have created which is having a name of first dot htm. So I will right click on this and I will go for a open with then I can select Internet Explorer. As because in my computer, Chrome is the default web browser. So if I double click on this file, then I can see this in Chrome. So I, what I have done, I have right clicked on it and then I have done an open with and opened it with Internet Explorer. Now you can see that in the tab, the title of the web page is written, which is my first web page. Okay. And then and the body part, whatever I have written, this is the body part of the web page. It displays the contents of the web page is displayed. So this is how we'll be creating a web page. Hope you have understood how to create a web page. So let us close this browser window and come back to the presentation again. So let us do a recap. Now what we have learned, we have understood what is HTML. We have got a brief introduction of HTML. We have understood what are the prerequisites of learning HTML programming. We have understood if extra software is needed for doing HTML programming or not. And then we have created our first web page. So that's all for today's class. The first session of HTML. We'll meet in the next session. Okay, till then. I'll take leave. Thanks for watching.